everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video for you, obviously, that's why I'm here. Today I'm going to be doing a desk tour because if you guys may or may not know, if you follow me on Instagram in particular, I am back from Barcelona and I have finally taken all my stuff from Barcelona back to the UK and I'm trying to sort it all out. And one thing which I've now organised and got sorted is my desk, which is super important for me for working and for doing my uni work. So my desk is sorted. I thought I would show you guys how I organised it, how I organised my stationery and my workspace for when I'm doing my revision but also my YouTube and also my actual job which I do. So I hope you guys find this desk tour and how I organise my stationery interesting. Also I do have to mention that this video is very kindly sponsored by the company Pentel which are an amazing stationery company. They do a huge selection of pens, pencils, school supplies, stuff for your revision. Go and check them out on their website and Instagram. All the links will be down below if you want to grab some stationery. I have a lot of their stationery because I love it and I use it all the time for my work and revision. So this video is sponsored by them. Thank you so much again to Pentel for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get on. So this is what my desk area looks like. Apologies for the light coming through the window. You can probably see my shadow um, walking behind the camera. But basically, this is my desk area here. My chair has just been moved to the side. So the cushion is from Primark and the actual chair is just like a standard office chair from Tesco, I believe, but nothing special. So this is what my desk area looks like. The desk itself is from Ikea. This lamp here, the base is from Asda and the top is from um, Ikea. My laptop sits right in the middle and then here I have like jewellery bits and pieces, perfumes, My some of my brushes are actually hiding behind here and that's makeup as well which if you want to see a makeup collection, I can do that. But here we are just for my stationery and my desk as it's meant to be a desk. So just quickly down the side, I have a bunch of like little makeup -y books. And then this little quote here is where I keep that. And then also on this desk, this desk actually has like a back to it. So if you can see behind here, I keep all my university books hidden behind here as well as stuff for writing essays and things to help me with that. And then down there there's more textbooks as well. So that's just hidden around the side. But the main thing which is part of my desk is this drawer here. So this is what I'm gonna go through today. This is all my stationery. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here and how I've organized it. So essentially, as you can see, I'm just moving them around. I have these plastic containers, which are collected through various like takeaways and things like that. You guys may recognize them if you get Chinese takeaways. I'm sure you get them in something like this. So that is what I've used. I've just recycled them, which is always good for the environment. So starting from left to right, I'm gonna start off here. So I am definitely somebody who's a fan of black pens. So here on my left, easily, most easily accessible, I have just a bunch of plain black pens. As you can see, some of them are from where I've picked up on various places along the way. Um, this one here is one of my favorites. It's super, super cool, like marble, purple, and like copper effect. It's super cool. And then just some plain ones, plain, really nice Energel ones as well here, which are always a good go-to. And then at the back here behind it, I have my pencils. So the majority of these ones here are from Pentel. I have pretty much their whole range, all their colors there, so I can just have them nice and handy. They're all nice and sharpened and ready for me to choose what color I want. This pen here is really annoying because it always pokes out. Um, but they're just all there if I want to do some mind maps and whatever with my revision. Then moving back down here, this is where I keep like the other kind of basic pens. I don't know how to describe them. So like green and blue is what I have here. So I use these for when I'm doing my uni work and I just want to annotate stuff but not with too much of a distracting colour. So this is where I keep those. Again, I've got some various ones that I've picked up along the way but the majority of them are just your bog standard like this and then behind 
keeping with the slightly more boring theme over here, these are my pencils. Nothing that exciting, but they live back there. So kind of colored pencils and basic pencils, black pens and blue and green pens. Then moving along to kind of the center, this is my most exciting little section here. So here we have the Pentel Energel pens. I like having these right at the front in the middle because I always reach for them when I'm doing revision and I wanna do some prey drawings. So I have all the colors here. You can see they all look the same in terms of their packaging. And I just have a bunch of different colors. About these as well, these are so fast drying. So for someone like me who's left-handed, I love using these all the time because I never smudge my revision with these. They are just so, such pretty colors and they work so well when I'm doing all my work. So that is definitely my favorite little pot there. Then moving along, I also really like this one. This one has kind of like my funky, funky colors, um, metallic colors. These ones here are the ones by Pentel. They're like the dual metallic ones and they change color when you use them. So this one changes from red to pink and then where's the gold one no where's the really cool one this one changes from black to red which I think is super cool um, and then also hidden under here I've also got some of these like metallic um, felt tip pens so these are like my two funky pen boxes and then behind I have again more color just not quite as exciting in my opinion so up here above the Energel liquid gel ink pens. I've got some more Energel pens, but these ones are just like the regular. You can see the difference there. Um, so these ones are still just as cool, but for some reason I love these more. I don't know why, they just really appeal to me. But these ones are just as cool. I've got various colors. You can see I've got like red, orange, and I've also got some random ones, you know, like the pens that aren't, you know, the odd, odds and sods kind of ones. But again, a really nice selection of colours in here. I just keep these kind of tucked to the back because personally, these ones are my favourite by far. But these are always good for a nice backup. Um, and again, some like random, random coloured pens as well. Moving along here, above the um, metallic ones, I've got some more like felt tip pens, but just not as fun as these ones. So I've got like a variety of brands in here, but basically these are just all my kind of felt tippy pens. The ones I like to use for doodling and drawing. I've got thicker ones, which are like these ones here. And then I've got thinner ones like these ones here. So moving along here next to like the felt tips, I have my highlighters. Whilst I was tidying out my stationery drawer, I realized I have so many highlighters, it's ridiculous. So basically they're all in this little pot here at the back. I've got various colors, blue, purple, green, yellow, pink ones. So these ones here are the E-Line 2 by Pentel. They are twin tip highlighters. So you've got a thicker end on the left and then a much thinner end for kind of underlining at the bottom, if you can see that there. So then after the highlighters, I have this pot down here. This is thicker, more kind of like hardcore pens in my opinion. I don't know how to describe it, but I basically got like, ah, focus, like thick black markers, um, anything that's just like a little bit stronger. And then also like, maybe a wee bit more arty. So these ones here are kind of ones you use for journaling. So that is in that pot there. So those are all my tubs, which I've used to store my stationery. And then just on this corner, this final box here is full of like my random bits and pieces for stationery. So I've got a rubber here. I've got a um, liquid correction pen, so you can use this to correct your work. Um, also, I've got like sellotape and then those protractors, like all the kind of bits and pieces you need. I've also got some paper clips in this corner and then there's also like my hard drive, stapler, car charger, um, calculator, another calculator in there. And then tucked in the side, I've got my scissors here as well which is pretty much all I've got. Oh yeah, and I've got blue tack here, and that's just to wipe my screen with. So that's pretty much my whole stationery collection. I like having it all concealed and organized in this drawer just next to my desk. It means when I'm doing my work at my desk and doing mind maps and revision and all that sort of stuff, I just head down here and it's all nicely organized for me there. It's not super exciting and cluttered, it's just nice and plain and gives me a lot of space to be able to work on 
and focus on my work. So that is it there. So guys, that was my completed desk and stationery tour. I really hope you enjoyed this. I personally really like how I've organized my desk. It's really organized and satisfying, so when I get to do my work, I'm always super excited. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Pentel for sponsoring this video. And obviously, if you would like some cool stationery to make your revision and your work, extra colourful and extra exciting then definitely check out Pentel, all their links will be down below and yeah please leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!